Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, LMG here, and welcome back to the Alpha, Alpha 2.1 of My Time at Portia. Now, this is actually a semi-controversial game. Uh, we'll be talking about the proverbial elephant in the room here in a second. We just gotta get our day started. We are on a timer, so we got a lot to do. So let you guys know, this is on Kickstarter. They've got about 24 days left. They're setting a goal of 100,000. They're pricey. Uh, game's in Alpha right now. Pretty, pretty stable, pretty stable. I've only had really one bug and that actually worked in my favor. Alright, we got some copper. There you know, uh, pretty much, uh, my time at Portia uh, is like Harvest Moon. It's a Dark Clouds too. if you, if you're old school, you remember that one. And it's a little bit of Stardew Valley as well. It's just, uh, we're in a workshop, building a lot of things. This is set in the Apocalypse, which is, the Apocalypse has never looked so adorable, really. It's, uh, Quite, uh, quite amazing. We're actually building a grill over here so I can get to cooking. You know, because that's a little mad thing to do. We can build a grill out here. And copper pipes. We'll work on that. Oh, we got another one done. Not what I meant to push. Okay, so we got nine hours to complete that. We're going to look about getting a job. we got a couple other missions and quests to do. There are a number of dungeons right now in the game as well. Oh, wait, we got a quest. Oh, Grandma Sophie here. Sophie's basket. Oh, good day. Are you right, ma'am? You forget from my old age. I must have misplaced my basket somewhere in town, but I don't know where to look. Can you help me? Ah, uh, yeah, we're not a D-bag. Where were you last? Some milk to the Portia school. Okay. All right, I'm on it. I also love how they don't care. I'm just running around with an axe. All right. Now you can actually uh, have relation to, uh, relationship meter with everybody in these in the game. There's about 20 plus characters. We're actually at the Commerce Guild. We're gonna look at getting a job. Uh, but Pathia, you're running the Kickstarter right now. They're developers of Planetary Explorers, which has been more than a little controversial because they really didn't have the money to finish the game, so they kind of just, hey, it's 1.0, we're done. Online servers are pretty crappy from what I hear. Uh, a lot of trolls have pretty much ruined it. Game unpolished, never really finished because they just really didn't have the money. But now they've got to be working on the side project so they can make some money. So they just say they're going to go back and work on that one. So hopefully, uh, yeah, Planetary Explorers also had a price drop as well. It's about 15 bucks. Let's look at jobs here real quick. Six glasses. Uh, I've already got something else kind of going right now on the thing. So, ah, uh, really? Six wooden storages. I can do that, Malin. There is a time limit, though. We got three days. All right, so we got a job. Let's go get the basket, though. Let's go get the basket first. We also got to get some catfish. A lot of quests. A lot of quests in this game so far. Alpha looking pretty amazing. The Planet for Terry Explorers. A lot of mixed feelings. A lot of people because they just had a permanent price drop to 15 bucks. A lot of people that bought the more expensive in feeling a little gypped. Understandable. I did read some of the comments on the Kickstarter, though. Uh, they were having a discussion with people that already bought uh, Planetary Explorers. They were giving them a ton. I don't know if it's true. We have to see if they can still email them. They were giving a $20 credit uh, so you could actually get the game on the Kickstarter. For anybody that already previously bought Planetary Explorers. Oh, we got a little cutscene here. Have you seen a basket around here? I mean, Granny Sophie's basket? Yeah, I was right. Oh, where did it go? Toby just tossed it on the roof. Oh, damn you, Toby. I double dog dared him. Oh, he do oh, okay, I understand. Double dog dared. Toby. Okay, yeah, just get back here, mister. Now nah, you're gonna get the stick. How on earth could I get up there? Oh, I got it. Can I get up here? I didn't even know I could do that. Oh my god, we're Assassin's Creed up in here. Yeah, but this is pretty much, it does have, uh, gonna have farming as well. I've seen some demo videos of that. Uh, but pretty much automated farming. So you can you know, set up a farm, run up a system, get that all automated. But you don't have to sit there and do crops every day, etc. I mean, some people like that, but... I thought it was one of the, uh, Civil Corps members we gotta spar with for a minute. I am going to get my butt kicked. I'm about level 7 right now, so uh, we'll see. 
We gotta last a minute. We'll talk. You know, if you talk to him once a day, you get your relationship up to one point. And you can also give him gifts, etc. So we got we gotta last a minute. Be gentle. Fight! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The avoidance maneuver. I don't think I beat her up in a straight fight because she hit me for like 40. <laughs> this is so cheesy, I know. Yeah, if you can pretty much spar with anybody in town, they'll like it or they won't like it. It all depends. Really, yeah, I think Castle uh, support this on Kickstarter. Uh, I'm a big fan of this game. This is my... This is going to be something we'll probably do on the channel. I know it's not usual survival genre, but it's a really great game. Uh, I've never really condoned any developer that doesn't finish a game in early access to go do another one. But this one is so good. I do think they will finish up Planter Explorers if this is a success, hopefully. I know it's something they've expressed they want to do, but just... Aha! Thank you, I got some money for that too. Alright. So now I can go to the Hazardous Ruins. And probably get murdered. Alright. Let's go out this way out of town. So we got the basket. But we also got a mission to get some catfish. Do I have any bait on me though? Oh, I do not. All right, well. And also, we'll give a check of the uh, overview here. Yeah, we've got inventory. Then we'll have female characters uh, with the uh, beta that's going to come out right after Kickstarter is done, if it succeeds. It's about a third of the way. 20, 24, 22 days left to go. Pretty sure it's going to make it. You've also got skills as well. Gathering, social crafting, farming, and ruins, etc. Our license is level D. We're pretty much the bottom of the list. Also, our building handbook. Which once we get stuff upgraded, I think we'll be able to build more. All right, missions done, etc. A map and a calendar because there's like a kind of like in uh, Harvest Moon. I started to value. There's an event about once a month. That's a pretty cool event though. I do like that one. It's pretty much just an airship runs around dropping presents on the town. I knew he's gonna try to grab everything like a greedy SOB that you are. Alright, so I gotta go get some uh, bait, which I have. Oh, let's kick the crap out of. The problem is, I do better fighting without. It's an empty slot. I got kung fu skills. Let's fight this colorful llama. Oh, come here. Whoop, haha. -ha. All the fighting is pretty much you just gotta recognize their combos, avoid it, etc. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Cute little music, too. I said the apocalypse has never been so adorable. Alright, let's move up. Go get some uh, bait. I will give that basket to Granny as well. Uh, put that over there. I don't believe you can't shift click it yet. But the, anybody that's gonna ask. Hey, why won't you over in there? It doesn't auto sort it. That, oh, it does sort. Never mind. Huh. Oh, man. That, I swear that button's new. That's that's just not me. Alright. We're gonna get rid of the animal features. Because don't really need that. Don't really need that. Uh, but we'll get caterpillars. Alright. Now, where is Granny? We'll bring up our missions. I don't that's in Japanese, so I have no idea. Let's, see, let's look at the map a little bit. Okay, so she should be in the store right now. Yeah, this is Granny's farm. Alright, we can also sprint. You do have a stamina pool, kind of like in Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley. Uh, yeah, you eventually run out, but you can replenish that. Not too bad. I've never had a really had a problem with... Later on, you, you'll have just more than you know what to do with. 
Okay, she's here. All right, got some money. Thank you, Granny. The water tank that I already built because I already knew this was going to be a thing. Water tank on my farm. Can you make one for me? Pumpkin pie. Is that a euphemism? Never mind. And we got money as well. She just give us pumpkin pie. Thank you, Granny. All right. So this quest done. Don't push. All right, we're gonna do this as a fishing mini game as well. Hit all the right buttons. I don't know about animal. I know that I think eventually we'll probably get some pets in the game. Uh, animal husbandry and all that. I don't know about that. I think that's uh, one of the things they're gonna work on. Just looking for a fishing spot. We'll probably go through at least an end game day or so. There's so much to do. I might go check out that dungeon. I have not checked out that new I don't have a uh, sword yet though, because I need to get some more hardwood. There was a quest that, tr that they wanted a sword, so I just gave him mine, which kind of sucked. Fought. Can't swim though. Yeah, we got a, we got actually got a current commission to build a bridge to get to that island because there's another dungeon over there. And some other stuff we can't get from over there. Here, so oh, we got fishing spots. Yep, gotta be right here. All right, fair enough. I'm trying to. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. All right, got catfish. All right, so that's not too bad. I it feels a little clunkier than it did uh, last time, but maybe that was just me. Come on. Yeah, go, go. This is much easier than Stardew Valley any day. Oh, oh yeah, that's... No struggle there. We got our two catfish. All right. Once we get that grill done, we can cook some up some grilled catfish. And there's an urchin with an umbrella. Yeah, the apocalypse got a little weird. Right, so let's check how much cash. Oh, I got I actually got a bit of cash. Because eventually uh, you can't get upgrades. What's Gus doing over here? And QQ the pig. The Zula project. I don't know what that is, Toby, but yeah, but eventually you can uh, you'll be able to marry characters in game, male, female, male to male, female to female, whatever you want to do. Whatever tickles your fancy. Alright, so let's go get some catfish. And all the uh systems go by a daily routine, so you know it kinda feels does feel lively. Yeah, it's quite a bit of characters in this game. I think if we can show that off. Social, there we go. And get relationships up. There is... Quite a bit. I don't think we've even... Well, we haven't even met any of everyone. Wow, alright. I really thought I had. There's, there's a ton of people. Oh, I'm gonna get you catfish. Hey, Jack. Toby. A really good adventure, my book. The sedentary knight tried to exercise the legendary ghost girl. Nothing showed up, but I was scared of my wits. Toby just laughed it off. That Toby. Alright. Let's turn this in. Alright, 50 gold. But I got a relationship up, which is probably the more important thing, I think. We can actually eventually make these ourselves, so I'm not going to, though you can't get these clothes. Uh, so you don't have to, you know, craft it yourself. You can actually just go dungeon exploring, I think. And and we would go dungeon exploring, but it's getting kind of late. Let's go check out the rest of the locals here. Good time for Carol. Gonna do some stretches. Yes, yeah, so let's have a clear financial plan. That's not boring. Well, maybe 
maybe we'll go tour a little bit rest more give you a bit of the size of the world it's not too bad um hoping it gets, it gets a little bigger because it looks like there's a bus station out front can't do anything with it yet let me take you to another location maybe another city i think this game is really got a lot of charm i hate to use the word potential uh but yeah, i think it does Quite a bit. If we go further out, there's not to believe there's another hazardous dungeon, and there's more, uh, more higher level up monsters as well. Which I don't know if I want to really want to tangle with. Once you get the combos down, it's not so bad, but barehanded probably not the best idea. Got a tree farm, which I don't think is done yet. Pretty sure you love it. It is, co it is nice and relaxing. So if you're playing another high-stress game, this kind of game you want to play, just relax. I don't think we can go in here yet. It might not be open. Maybe we can. Maybe it's just not open during the day or at night. Words are hard. So if I kick you, I might be able to get some of these. Probably those big acorns. Come on. Uh, apparently that's not giving it up. I tried, I tried. Not having any of that, we're probably gonna have to chop it down. And eventually I guess you can build uh, something to get a uh, air balloon ride. Air balloon rides, guys, that is awesome. I think this is another dungeon. It's too late though in the day, I think. Now that's, there's an entrance. I think it's on the other side. Or maybe it's just over there. Yeah, unfortunately we can't swim. But let's get back to... Did I have another job to do? I, I can't remember. Oh, the commission boards. Oh, I need to make some wooden storage boxes. Oh, yeah. Just... I need to pin that. Okay, there we go. Wasn't showing up. I was like, oh, I don't know if I actually had a job. I was around goofing around. We got job dudes. So actually, with the second alpha, they didn't close time limits, so I don't have, I can't just dink around all day. And we got sheep. My good question is, can I fight with sheep? Would I get in trouble? I don't think they'd let me do that, would they? Nah, they're too adorable. Nah, well... No. Well, I kind of like the option of choice, but I understand. I understand. So we got horses. Whoop! <laughs> jump over the horse, it's okay. Right up. Not a bad night sky, not a bad night sky. You can check out my previous uh, videos on this if you want to check out the intro and stuff. Uh, pretty much the premises are... Our dad left. I'm not sure if he's actually dead. But he kind of left the land. But he left this workshop to us. We can make a fresh start of living out here. We're not doing too bad. It's about 11 o'clock. Hey, all those copper bars are done. Fuel depleted. Um, whoopsie, I gotta refuel that. Okay. Let me start making storage boxes. So we got we need twenty wood to get that third one. Oh we don't need I like but yeah, sometimes this stuff doesn't auto sort itself out. I need a better upgraded axe for that, because yeah, I do need some upgraded tools. So I'll have to go with the crappy trays. Nice. Alright. I played Stardew Valley for about 100 hours. I was alright, but I just I kind of just lost it at some point. Because you start making so much money, it's like, what's the point? 
Family grew up. You bring the family. There, there's nothing after like year three for me. I know some people are still like playing their, their first time. Oh yeah, it's getting late. Yeah, we don't want to be up that late. Let's get to bed. We need six wooden storage boxes. Really? Wow, alright. Oh, we got something in the mail. Alright, I hope that's my Macy's catalog. From Dawa. Keeper of the Portia Tree Farm. Last time we had blue downs from the fencing. We're closed until it's fixed, so I need to help me fix this as soon as possible. We need five wooden boards. Thank you. Uh, so we got a while for that. That wouldn't be bad. We can do that. I think wooden storage comes first, though. Let's go do wooden storage. That's done. I don't think I need anything else. We need trees. Pretty much wood. I think you can buy wood from the Commerce Guild, perhaps. I know that we could before, but net. You don't need to buy basic resources. It's like nobody in this town cares. I just chopped down all the trees. We learn nothing from the apocalypse. Okay. We're gonna need a ton of wood for this though. Plus we need wooden boards as well. I think we have to turn this into the research center when we're done. I said, I've already played this out for over a dozen hours, dozen hours in the free alpha. It's mad. Yeah, I'll also keep a link to the store page, as well as the Kickstarter. Yeah, but if you were uh, in Planetary Explorers, see if you can get that uh, credit. Yeah, just to just stick. I think there was a it was a $20 credit. Uh, so you can just get the uh, copy of the game when it comes out. Nothing wrong with the free game. At least a little bit of compensation for you. If you were not happy with Planetary Explorers. Okay, 93. Alright. Alright. I need another copper pipe to finish that grill. We could actually probably do that. Just craft me one. Okay, let's... Grill is done. Put that up, and you can expand uh, the land around. Then on, we need about fifteen hundred to get this little plot, and there are more plots later, so you can kind of make this spread out a little bit more, so you're not so cramped. It does feel kind of cramped early on. Let me check out the grill. Now we would, we can make some roasted meat, salty grilled catfish, restore stamina, spicy fish food. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, but let's go see about making some storage boxes. I think this is exactly the amount we need. Okay. So, done. Turn that in. Beautiful, beautiful. I think it's a nice, relaxed, chill game. That's one of the things I do like about it. Visually not bad. I don't know how uh, long the years are going to go on, or maybe, maybe infinity them. You know, never know. Uh, most of the games like this, there eventually is an ending. Which I think it's kind of nice, because, you know, Stardew Valley could keep going, but then I kind of lost the charm after that. Okay. Now, they were at... Ah, uh, Research Center. Let's go. Yeah, Spring does use up some stamina, but... Eh. Oh, we're gonna check out that dungeon as well. We're a little out of stamina, but I think we'd be okay. Mission board. Thank you. Oh, money! Money! 207. Nice. And once you do a lot of commissions, you'll get your rank up. And you start getting, because there's other, there's, uh, I believe, four to five other workshops in town. 
uh, that if you beat their score, you start ranking up, you get better stuff, you get rewards. It's kind of nice. We're gonna go check out that dungeon, I think. I think it's up here, roundabout. Don't have a weapon yet, so it's a little bit dangerous. I do think we're also gonna have to pay a little bit of a price. Kind of wondering. No, I don't think there's anything for this yet. This is a collapsed wasteland. Uh, and that dude is just being creepy up there. I don't know what that is. Can I not go in? Is that just like under construction then? Uh, wait, wait, wait. What are you saying? Wait till the next build. Okay, alright. Water troll. Ha! Huh. Alright, so we're gonna wait on that one. I know there is one dungeon in here somewhere. Is that just... Maybe that was a bit of a store. We can always show off the other dungeon. It's just not quite as exciting because nothing to kill. Go check it back here. I haven't checked back here yet. This might be the place. This looks interesting. Coming soon. Alright, alright. Coming soon. Alright, alright, I get it. I was thinking they had higher hazardous uh, in this one, but there is a hazardous ruin and the others on the other island we gotta get the bridge to go, but the bridge takes a while. Yeah, quite a bit of supplies. Amazing how much stuff that actually the in depth the supply uh, the crafting is. You need quite, need quite a bit of stuff to make that. We'll go to this one. Yeah, we got some money up. We got some money, don't we? Oh yeah, we're doing all right. Let's go. We got to spend some money to go into the ruins, though. But we get a free jetpack, though, so that's not too bad. All right, so we got. You know about that? So you dig every day, it just re replenishes itself. But we'll look around. So we can look for various... 16... I don't know if I want to go. Mostly looking for copper. That's kind of that... Copperish color right there. We've got a dead disc. And we've locked onto that. Let's go see what that is. We can work on those wooden boards later. I probably won't go with the video too much in depth longer. I just want to try to give you an overview as much as I can at the current time. I might do another video uh, for the Kickstarter, uh, right before the Kickstarter ends, just to keep you guys in the uh, loop. So, yeah, I'm kind of rooting for this one. That's not copper, though. I, I have plenty of stone. Though we do need sand as well, because you got to make glass. We can actually make a uh, car for this as well. Let's try to focus on something. Damn copper, copper and tin ore that makes uh, what's the bronze ore? Sometimes axe spears. That's okay. Or the pickaxe. We got old part. All right. You need those for upgrading your uh, workshop. The bridge got an unlimited jetpack, so there's no way you can screw that up. All right. Uh, that doesn't look too far. I need to get more copper though. Energy's getting a little bit low, but I do have something that might bring some of that back. So we got another power stone, which I need to fuel uh, various uh, devices out in the shop. Let's make sure we got. If I'm gonna let's see how much is that gonna bring us back? Oh, that's only defense. Oh, what about Grandma's pie? Only fifteen. Grandma, really? That's 
That's all defense. Well, that's not gonna do us any good in here. Dang you, Grandma. Go look up and around. Let's go over there. Oh, we got a little Some copper shoe. Focus. There you go. Well, we'll go down to here. Probably not as great as I wanted, but we're gonna need a lot of copper. So there'll be multiple trips in here. The power stone. There's a big copper thing right here, so we'll just keep going until we can't go anymore. Go, 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 go. There we go. More copper. Oh, we're about out. Yeah, we're pretty much done. Alright. What I love about the infinite jetpack, so there's not a possibility of me getting, uh, screwing myself over. I do like that. I do believe the data disks are for something later, not quite in, the, this build. So for about a month or so, I'll be able to bring you the, uh, beta. I'm looking forward to that. Exit, there we go. Still a little bit late, let's head home. How many power stones did I get? I got three, not bad. That's not a bad haul. Falling without consequences! Okay, so it looks like we had a quest to fix the uh, farm as well. Uh, the tree farm, so maybe we can actually go into the tree farm, maybe pay a little bit of gold and we can just go to town on them. And every day somebody drops crap off in my... Oh, I'm out of stamina now. So we can set this up. Because I need wooden boards anyway. Let's see if we can craft. Only two. Refuel that. Get some bronze bars. Okay, we're out of wood anyway. Well, enough to wood to apparently matter. Alright, let's get some Z's. That's a cute little quest in the beginning. You gotta fix up the floor planks in this house. It's, it's pretty cute. Otherwise, you won't be able to get a full night's rest. Alright, done. Alright, another thing I love about these... These work throughout the night as well, so you don't have to, you know, sit there and wait during the day and stuff. It just, it's all automated. It's really nice. All right, guys. Be sure to check out the link for the Kickstarter. Play the alpha. Let them know what you think. Give them any feedback. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, this uh, Kickstarter will go well. Uh, trying to give this my best support as I can. And hopefully, we'll be able to bring you the beta build in about a month here. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Share the like button. It's helped a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.